What's up YouTube, Jay Dantastic here, and today I'm doing a little bit of a how-to. Several of you have asked me how to change the config settings for Dragon Block C, and so I figured I would go over it really quick because it's actually really simple. It's not tricky at all. It only takes just but a minute if you know what you're doing. So all you have to do is come over here and do a quick search. Percent app data. Most of you probably know how to do that already. Type that in. Percent app data percent. Enter, and it'll take you to this folder right here, and then you can see the .minecraft folder pop into there, and this is all of your Minecraft stuff. You can see all of the folders that I have in here. You can see in the mods, Optifine, and then Dragon Block C, Damage Indicator, all that good stuff. And you can actually see right here the config folder, and in there are all of your config files. Uh, so there's a couple in here for Dragon Block C. This one, you don't really need to pay attention to, the Jinryu Dragon Block C file. Um, that's mostly just, you can change how often Dragon Balls spawn, uh, how many of them spawn in a certain radius, what time of day they spawn. You can change how certain enemies spawn, all that kind of good stuff. So you don't really have to worry about that one. Um, I think it's just, that one is... is less about gameplay stuff and more about just how things spawn and how often they spawn and all that kind of stuff. The one that we are interested in is called Jinryu JRM Core and if you click into that one right there, I made the font pretty giant so it would be easier to read, this is where you can change all of the different settings. Um, the most important one that most of you are probably curious about, let me see if I can find find it here oh it's this one um so the font is actually a little bit too big but that's okay you can read it it's this one right here it says if false then current no energy charge only release will be used if true then one key press oh, of course it slid me back over here then one key press and hold c charge will be available may reduce lag if false this one if you're like me and you enjoyed the way that charging worked pre 1.6.4 where you held down C to charge, then you want this to be true. If this is set to false, you will be unable to charge manually. You will have to wait for your energy to charge back on its own or you will have to eat a sensu bean or dinosaur meat or something like that that affects your energy level. There will be no way for you to raise it simply by pressing a key. So I have this set to true because I think it's more realistic to be able to hold down the button to charge up the energy rather than having to back away from a battle and then waiting until my energy has recovered and then I can kind of go back in. So set that to true. If you uh, want to charge the old school way, this is false by default, just so you know. So before you even start, this is set to false, so you won't be able to charge. And if you're really confused on why that is, that is why. And then the other really important one down here is TP gain, um, which is obviously the training points, and that's how fast you can learn different moves, build up different skills, create different attacks, all that good stuff. Default is set to normal. This is the config file for my Arcosian Ray series, by the way. Um, this isn't the config file that we use for myself, Rhyme Style, and XRP Max 13. Uh, that one is slightly different, it's server sided, um, but as far as just single player mode, this is what I have it set to um, when I'm playing as the Arcosian. So the TP gain is set to normal. It is normal by default. You can crank this up to more, even more, the most, and for fun. Now, obviously, if you set it to for fun, it's going to be ridiculous. You're going to be gaining so much TP that killing one enemy is going to give you like a thousand. It really goes up. So even if you set it to more or even more, that's going to be noticeably more TP that you're gaining. It's not going to be just a little bit more. It's a lot. Um, the most is going to be an insane amount and for fun is exactly what it says for fun. That's not even, um, you might as well just do slash JRMC a set all max or whatever the, the code is to, uh, to max out all your settings because that's what for fun is going to be. Um, there's a few other things in here that you can change if you want to. They affect the game Sort of. I mean, I guess it's all uh, relative to how you want to play. Energy charge rate. I have mine set to fast for the Arcosian series uh, just because I like it better. I hate that it takes forever to charge up when you need to charge if you're in a battle or something. So I have my energy charge rate set to fast. And if you've seen the series, you know that it's not obnoxiously fast or anything like that. It doesn't really affect it that much. It's just enough to make it so that it's not so excruciatingly slow when you're in the middle of a battle. Uh, you can change the size of the players. 
So if you don't like how Arcosians are by default rather small and you want them to be the size of normal people, then you could set this to false and that will make all of the characters the same size. They won't change size depending on the attributes that you give them, so they won't grow up essentially. They'll all stay the same size. If you set this to true, then you'll start out small and you'll get bigger as you progress through the game. Uh, there's obviously different things in here like health regen. You can set that to normal, slow, fast, faster. Um, health regeneration over time. Um, EXP gain, which is obviously just Minecraft EXP if you want that. You can change all the speeds for that stuff. The different energy rates, energy regeneration over time. All kinds of good stuff. Um, so the but the most important ones obviously are the TP gain and then the one where you want to be able to press C to charge. Those are the two that you really want to make sure you have set correctly. If you enjoy the new style, then you don't even have to worry about it. You're all set up and good to go. You don't have to mess with this at all unless you want to get faster training points or something like that. Um, but just make sure you set this to true if you enjoyed the the old school way of charging before 1.6.4. And that is it. That's all you have to do. You literally just come in here, make the changes, do a little quick file and save, and then exit out and open up your Minecraft, and you will be good to go. And you can start playing, and it will change right away. You don't have to do anything else, uh, nothing fancy or anything like that. See? Told you guys it was simple. Um, so that's it. If you have any more questions about Dragon Block C or how to get it set up or anything like that, just let me know. Uh, I'll put a link to the mod in the description below. If you don't have it yet and you want to check it out, you should definitely do so if you haven't yet because it's a lot of fun. I love it a lot. If this video helped you out, make sure you hit the like button, please. That'll really help me out. And if it's your first time stopping by and you learned something a little new, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Stick around with us. Check out some cool stuff to come. And as always, I will talk to you all in the next video. Later.